Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me by now, my name is Trini Lovely. And today we're gonna have another great, interesting topic. And this topic is for anyone like myself who's starting their own business. Um, no, I haven't quit my day job yet, um, but I am still starting my own business. The future is at one point I am going to get to that point where I'm probably going to have to but at this point I'm trying to balance both so um, this video is not about actually balancing anything it's really about how do you get models if you may not have them in your budget if you're starting your own online boutique or your online retail store or anything like that that requires you to actually make up payout to give to the models right so as we know we're now in that social media era right the world has changed like nowadays you can actually stay from your home and actually become a millionaire right by just being innovative and creating constantly creating new contents and different things and new platforms and all this is happening right on the internet so Basically, if you are at the point where you may not have them in your budget and you're actually using yourself only as a model, well, you might think about getting an influencer, getting um, a brand ambassador. And if you are not familiar with these terminologies, a brand ambassador is someone who works for you long term, right? Um, you create a contract and you... Ex you say what you want, what you want and what you expect. And they're basically um, branding your company using their social medias. For instance, if you were um, looking for someone as a brand ambassador, you go on your Instagram and you reach out to someone and you, you know, you really come out legit. You know, you, you basically have claws there's certain requirements that you want to reference when you're actually making this contract like um, a standard agreement cancellation clause and many different attributes that you want to say within these contracts that you're creating to reach out to your brand ambassador or you can use an influencer so an influencer is someone that you may use on a short term period to brand your your products right and when you're basically you got to look at it like how it's it's like a catch-22 right it's like it's this secret right but it's not a secret of a way to actually get them to market your product right in this strategic way without breaking your brand because when when you think about um, a brand ambassador or an influencer I have had um, brand ambassadors positions um, was made available to me by just using the hashtags and um, you know companies happened to see me and reached out to me and they basically wanted me to model their products but sometimes they want you to pay 35% or they want you to pay 50% for the item, or sometimes they can give you the product for free. So it really depends on your budget, how you want to actually um, give as a compensation. If you want to give, the, if you want them to buy your product at half price, or you want to give them a percentage off, or you want them to basically get the product for free. Now I have reached out to um, a few people um, for as, my brand um, ambassadors because I wanted it to be a long-term position because I you know I really don't because I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest like I literally is I'm coming up with ideas as I go like um, like someone asked me recently do you have a business plan I haven't started my business plan as yet it's, it's interesting because the last time when I did this before I actually started a business plan first this time I don't have a business plan. I haven't put anything on paper as yet. Um, but every day I feel like there's new thought process that's just entering in my brain where I'm just coming up with all these new ways of trying to actually get 
the word out, where I'm trying to brand my company, where I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to maneuver on my website, what I'm going to create for my website, what I want my website to look like, how I want my website to stand out, what I, what's the difference between me and a company, my competitor, like, you know, so there's, there's many different things that comes up and comes along. So I haven't really um, sat down and really figured these things out as yet, but I was looking at ways that I can um, get um, some brand ambassadors to come in and basically market my product and at the same time take pictures um, for my website. So, you know, if you're going to use them on your website, you have to also explain that in the contract. You can't take a picture, right? of someone and copy the picture and put them on your website that is gonna be a litigation that's gonna turn out to be a lawsuit eventually um, at some point so you don't want to you know especially starting off very early on is to see a picture of a, a product that you're selling and steal that picture and then literally reuse that picture back on your website so you definitely don't want to do that and if you are um, using content at where you want um, someone to be a brand ambassador, keep in mind that if you are going to put them on the website, you need to state that in the contract that they are well aware that you're going to use them on the website. Again, you don't want to become at a certain point reaching a certain level of success and at first they were okay with it, but then they see you driving around, I'm just going to go off the head, a Rolls Royce, right? They see you driving around um, something like that, and they like, wait, hold up. Like, I never got paid, and I was um, a brand ambassador for this company, and they never gave me anything. And you didn't put anything in contract, anything in writing. You will be hit with a litigation lawsuit eventually at some point because that person is going to say, I never got compensated for using my picture. So those things has to be actually really really in the bold in your contract where you're letting the person know okay as the brand ambassador this is what I expect from you I expect you to market my item I expect you to tag my website I expect you to um, you know allow me to receive certain amount of pictures within a certain amount of time frame because you got to keep in mind if you're giving away free product especially if you're a person who's given free product and you're not um, telling them to pay for this product it, it, it could be a hit and miss and it really depends on the person that you're using right because there's a lot of um, positions that comes around where a lot of opportunity where you you may have somebody in your in your um, in your DM asking you to be a brand ambassador or influencer at their company and it really depends on who the person is because if the person is serious they're gonna take the pictures and they're gonna send the pictures back to you and they're gonna take it as a job and they may take the free clothing as a compensation and be just really happy with or they may um, might might look at the free clothing and say you know who's this brand I don't really care for this brand I don't really care about all these free clothing that I have um, you know I have other ambassadors that that I'm working with and I don't really need you so keep that in mind you you really don't know what type of people that you're reaching out to especially if you don't know the person if you don't know the person and it's like literally a hit and miss because I have um, been reached out to by a couple of companies where it was one company that wanted me to um, take pictures of watches but they wanted me to pay for the watch half price and I really felt like I didn't really want to pay for that watch you know I felt like they should give me the watch for free because I do have um, uh, uh, basically I have a relationship with a friend um, and me and her worked at a previous job long time ago uh, you know and I remember her telling me that she was getting the products for free. So, you know, when I was approached to pay half price, I'm like, why am I paying half price? Why am I getting it for free? And I remember um, when somebody reached out to me, they literally stated that in the contract, like, um, you know, we usually work with um, brand ambassadors that has 10,000 and more followers. And I saw that you had less than 10,000 um, followers. So I don't 
so basically they didn't want to give me the product for free so as you see as plain as day they stated that within their contract of what they were expecting as it was like a terms of agreement that they wanted they wanted you to know that you're not gonna get free products and that's exactly how you have to move when you're actually are the business person and you're basically expecting um, you know service right so you're expecting service and if you expecting the service you want to be as blunt you want to be as honest you want to be as honest as possible of what you expect and that this person do for you so keep that in mind you want to make sure that everything that you're stating is in the contract where there's no one's for misunderstanding especially if you're sending out these contracts or you're reaching out to people that you never spoke to on instagram and you want to use them because i'm not even gonna lie like i i didn't even use um people i didn't know right and i'll see like People not even answering on the contract. So keep that in mind. You may go through that too. Some people may not answer. Some people may not like the agreement that you that that you want them to agree to. So always keep that in mind. At this point, it's business. It's not personal. So, you know, if the person doesn't answer you, it's not personal. If you um you know, if you don't work with the person again it's not personal so you always got to remember at the end of the day you're just trying to get your business off the floor and as as you're trying to get your business off the floor what are strategic methods and ways that you can actually not break the bank not break your pocket not come out of your pocket to the point where you're not paying for a models where you can actually get this person to market now it's really good to when you're using um a brand ambassador or influencer and an influencer somebody who's working on a short-term basis um with your company so if you want to use an influencer or you want to use a brand ambassador you want to also look at how much people are following that person too because if that person is trending on Instagram where they have a numerous amount of followers on Instagram and they're constantly posting and they're always, um, you know, people live to see them, right? You know, like people just look at them and just like, wow, these people are amazing. Their life, everything about them is, is so great. If they wear your product and they at your store, that will bring in numerous sales to your store because th these people are iconic on their Instagram and everybody looks at them as oh they they're they, you know they they're it. So you always got to pay attention to the followers also. So your followers also mean something as as well. So never take anything personal when you're asking you know you want to ask a numerous amount of people. I did not reach out to random people who I did not know because because I was giving away the products for free. I was a little bit um, you know, had a little bit of apprehension on that because, you know, not everyone is, you know, business swabby and not everybody's on point. So I reached out to people that I did know and, and I reached out to them requesting them to be a brand ambassador. So, um, and that's how I went about it. So these are the, these are the methods and these are the ways that you can actually try to not break the budget so that's that's how you got to look at it i was speaking to um a friend recently and she was letting me know she was like you know there's a lot of corporations companies businesses small businesses you know they get a lot of stuff for free and she was like you know the the goal is is not really to reach into your pocket but when you're starting at the point where you are at the very start of the startup and you may not be familiar in this um you know in this market because this is something that you have not tried yet and everything right now is research everything is really trying to understand you know how to get your foot within this market how to get it wet right so if you're doing that then you have to be always open for you know for change you have to always be open and, and, and switch up and, and change as you go but keep in mind I just seen a little bug just flew past me and I literally hate flies and I had my door open and um, and I think 
I think the fly came in. Um, I have a dog, I actually have a Chihuahua and a Pomeranian. So I normally put her outside on at the side so she could run outside and stuff like that. And I think at some point this fly came in here and that fly just now really, really made me feel like chasing that fly down and hitting it with a newspaper. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally ignore that fly and just continue talking. So, um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, so if you want to come up with different ways to basically get models, maybe at this point you may not be able to afford that model. So you can literally go and try to get a brand ambassador or influencer. If it, it's plain it's safe is literally asking a family or a friend um, but even if it's a family and friend make sure and still have that contract if they don't sign a contract honey then that's not a brand ambassador because if you can't sign a contract then I, I gotta look at it like you're not serious and if you're not serious then you know what's gonna end up happening I can't really trust that you're gonna actually take these pictures so that's the only pros and cons of using a family or friend because sometimes when you use families and friends friends and family as I say they they're both the same right when you use friends and family a lot of time they don't take things really serious that you know if, if you were somebody else and you were like um, as far as a real person that didn't know them and it was a totally different company that had no affiliation with them they may feel more excited that they, that they got offered that position um and they may take it way more serious than than you you know this is my friend and she she asked me to do it or this is my family member and she asked me i'm doing you a favor but no you're not doing favors because it's a business it's business so keep that in mind I even though it's pros and cons of accident family and friends to me on my experience with having companies reach out to me I think it's a little bit plain and more safer sending it to a family and friend as to you know randomly going on Instagram and um, you know sending out DMs to a numerous amount of people or big following but it's really you know, companies do it all the time, and sometimes it, it could be a hit and miss, and sometimes it really could work. And it really could work because, you know, as I said before, if somebody has a big following and they market your product and people really look at that person as this person is a really, you know, a fashionista, you know, they're great on their style, and they model your stuff, you definitely will pick up sales doing that. So keep that in mind. There's pros and cons in everything. And... As an entrepreneur, you're a risk taker. You're a person that you're diving right in. You don't, fear is not something that holds you back. You're not being held back by fear. You're actually being driven by your creativity and you're constantly creating. So we don't want to be, you know, I don't want to make this video feel like it's just nothing but fear. This video is a way that you, for you not to break the bank and for you to literally become successful in on your startup without literally touching your pocket to do everything and this is one of the reasons why I said from the beginning I was creating my website from scratch could I have paid thousands of dollars to get this website started maybe I could have but if I can DIY everything I would and I'm not trying to come out my pocket on everything and that's how you have to look at it what are strategic ways of inventing new creativity for you to become successful without you having to pay for everything? You're already, if you're already paying for inventory, do you really want to pay for marketing now? Do you really want to pay for models? Because marketing, marketing, this is a strategic way to market your product on Instagram, right? And you're killing two birds with one stone. You're marketing, plus you're also, you know, if you have an Instagram um, business page or you have your website and you put inside of that, you know, in that contract that you want to use them 
on their website as well. All these things benefit you. So everything really benefits you at the end of the day. And, you know, um, and again, thank you for watching. Feel free to join in next week as we continue on our business day. Um, so thank you again.